Okay, this is a little help video on the Android file transfer. Um, some people may have the same problem I did with the transfer not working. It actually says when you start up, download the app and, and start it up, it says no device found, even though you are connected with your USB cable. Now, I use something else called uh, AirDroid. I've been using that to do my my file transfers since then, and you know the file transfers seem to work okay with the AirDroid, but it doesn't give you all the access you want. They actually want you to pay money for the same access that uh, file transfer gives you, because that's all basically I want to do is just transfer files to and from my phone to my Mac. Um, you can see here this is something that AirDroid has is basically it's it's a duplication of my uh, phone on my desktop here which is kind of cool so I'm going to show you what I had to do to get this to work so um, basically I'm following what I found on this blog here what to do if Android is transfer is not working a lot of it says you know go to your your Android device and you have to get the media device setting M MTP working. Uh, basically what is going on is my device needs to have that going. So I'm not used to using the mouse here. I'm just going to use my phone in front of me here and you go into settings and set up your uh, developer options here. So there's something called uh, USB debugging. You want to turn that on and just do OK. And the other thing you need to do is if you go to your, oops, not that, sort of your notifications at the very top here. I have a hard time getting it because it's very, there we go. Um, all you have to do is where it says connected as a camera, just touch for other USB options. And that is where the media device MTP is found. Now a lot of, and then this will work once see there, there we go. It just popped up and there's my, there's my phone, all, all the different folders on it and my SD card that's on there as well. Basically I just want to put some, uh, panoramas on my phone from my desktop here. So um, it's as simple as that. A lot of the how-to videos or not how-to videos but the information things tell you once you have the USB set up in the developer option is to go to your your settings and go to your device. I think it's under here. Maybe it's not a device more. Yeah, storage, and it tells you to click on the three dots up in the corner, which I my phone does not have three dots up in the corner. So I, I, I couldn't figure out how to get this, what they're telling you to do, to click on the three dots and, and uh, turn on the MTP. Uh, so that was the only trick with mine was it was actually up here in my... Maybe it's easy that you're hitting it with a mouse. Yeah, grabbing with a mouse. It's here. It's this connected as a media device. Uh, basically, it's under the notifications. So these two sort of toggle now. See, it just turned off. But once I have the MPT, I can get it back up again. And that's it. Um, pretty simple, but if you don't know where it is, it's, it actually isn't that simple. <laughs> um, Hope that helps somebody.